this video we're going to cut and thread some steel conduit. This is galvanised to prevent it from rusting. Normally when you buy it, it comes in 3 metre lengths. Common sizes in the UK are 20 millimetre and 25 millimetre. When you buy the conduit, it is normally threaded on both ends and on one end you may find a connector already that is to protect the threads. The difficult part about cutting or threading conduit is actually holding it whilst you are doing the cutting or the threading. For that reason, you are better off using a pipe vise or a chain vise like this. You can actually hire these from places like HSS where they come ready mounted on a tripod. There are several ways you can cut this. You can cut it quite easily with a hacksaw or a pipe cutter. Because we're going to be using the pipe cutter, I'm just going to apply some cutting paste to that and that will ensure that we get maximum life from our cutting wheel. So these are often used on pipe and this one will cut from half an inch up to two inches. So all we need to do is put that in the correct position and then tighten it up and we can then start to rotate that around the conduit. Every time you do a revolution you can tighten the handle further These are used a lot on site for cutting steel pipe, etc. As you can see, it cuts it very quickly and effortlessly. And the beauty of these is that they give you a very straight cut, although they do tend to leave a burr on the inside there, which we will remove later. If you do cut this using a hacksaw, it's important that you get it as close to the vise as possible. You don't want to be cutting it away from the vise because you will get a lot of vibration. Just get that started. If you buy a stock and die set it will look something like this. So they are the guides, that's a 25mm and a 20mm and you've also got the 25mm and 20mm dies. So we need to start off by taking this part, I'm just going to remove the nuts, we'll then put the guide in, that goes in that way, like so. We'll then take the die, that goes in that way, so that these nuts actually engage with it. You can then tighten those up. Then we just need to screw in the handles. You can actually hire a similar kit from HSS etc. The ones at HSS are actually a ratchet version. We often use a similar thing on site as well for threading pipe work, although we do use different dies for that. You generally find that electrical conduit comes in 25mm and 20mm. I believe you can also get 16mm, but I've never seen that. Whereas pipe comes in imperial sizes, such as half an inch or an inch, etc. So that's how to set that up. We're now going to apply some more cutting paste. And then we're going to take the stock, we're going to push the guide straight on there, that will hold it relatively straight and then we're going to turn that in a clockwise direction. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to give it a couple of turns in a clockwise direction to cut the thread. And then we're going to back it off, that will break the chip. 
Then we're going to proceed again. Once it starts getting tight, you can just back it off and that will break off the chip. I'll just wind that off and then you can see that the thread has actually started. So you can see it has actually started to cut the thread. And I'll just apply some more cutting paste. That will ensure that we get the maximum amount of life from our tools. So we're just going to proceed with this. So we're going to keep going and keep backing it off. If you look at the end there, you'll see that the threads are starting to exit. And once we're stuck through by about one or two threads, that will be far enough. We can then wind that off. We do have a tiny burr on the inside of there. I'm just going to apply some more paste. You can get a special reamer for removing the burr. Unfortunately, I'm at home, so I'm just going to use this deburring tool which normally will be used on copper pipe. You can of course remove the internal burr using a round file. It doesn't matter which method you use, it depends what tools you've got available, the important thing is that you remove the burr. We can then take a connector and we can thread that directly onto the end of the So that's how to cut and thread conduit. I hope you found this video useful. If you have and you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.